Hey, it's just Fires on Tons of 611, back with a new video. And, uh, and in this video, I'm going to be uh, continuing Chapter 2 of uh, <clears throat> The Last Door. It's been a while since I've played this. So, um, let's just see how far we get. Okay, so last time we got some letters and um, a shard of mirror and stuff. My letters. All the letters I wrote to dear Juliet. You never posted them. But why, Mary? Why would you do such a thing? Cough. How could you be so cruel? What? Oh. I had to do it, Matthew. You refuse to see how inappropriate a match is for you. The only interest is in marrying someone of your status, of our family's status. It was for your sake I did this. I did it to protect you from that woman's treachery. No. You only, no, you only thought about yourself. Of, of your vanity. I can't bear to look upon you anymore, Mary. Leave me be. From this day forth, you, you are no sister of mine. You dare banish me? I who have stayed by your side all through your illness? Very well, Matthew. You will have your way. I will leave you, and then you will see how very alone you are. Farewell, brother. Oh my. Well. Thanks be to the Lord that you have come to reveal my sister's cruelty, sir. Please take this coin as a token of my appreciation. It is my lucky coin. Though I hope it it serve you better than it has myself. Okay, so I got a lucky coin. I perfectly smooth, smooth this flotsam into a small wall. Sure, I'll take it. Alright, let's continue on. Ah, I just love, I just love the sound of the ocean and the beach. It's so peaceful. Alright, so, let's make our way back. I'm just gonna leave her to her duties. And we're gonna go back here. I'm going to wind this. Is that soothing, sister? Oh, what a beautiful melody! It reminds me of my youth when I was vibrant and full of purpose. I knew my path then. Oh, may God bless you. For you had given me the sign I was looking for. Well, you're very welcome, sister. Enjoy your day. Okay. A lot of dry leaves have accumulated in a hole of this old rusty pipe. They're blocking the water stream. Alright, clear all those. I blunted the sharp edges of the pipe, now I need not fear being cut. Alright, and we'll, we will drink the nate. <laughs> the net! Not nate. <laughs> the net. 
just to catch anything coming down the pipe. Okay. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that log just yet, but um, we will find out soon enough. Um, okay, I've also got to figure out how to I've got to get something to slice open that tapestry. Turn the water on. The key, the key should flush. So that wasn't a key, that was a teardrop. I'm guessing that's a glass teardrop or something? Okay, well, let's see. Let's see what we do with the teardrop. Alright. Let's go back to the sick bay. Good grief, cover your mouth. I hope you're covering your mouth when you cough, because I don't want to catch whatever you have. Sorry. Place the glass tear in the hollow of the virgin's cheek. Seems like that's perfect. Okay. Look, sister. In the eyes of a fervent devotee, it could look like a real tear. Please, someone pity. I already told you that he cannot be here. But. Don't worry about it, sir. Oh. Oh yeah, I think I've already read all of that. Sister, look. Look, the statue is crying. It's crying, hello. <laughs> okay, fine. Don't notice it. <laughs> okay. Have no intention to learn the statue. Ah, I bet. I know exactly. I know exactly where to, uh, what to do with that log. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, wait, what? The one stick is not sharpened enough to cut the tapestry. Okay. Oh, right, right! Oh, oh okay, okay. Okay, I forgot about the mirror piece. Okay, so we need to go back downstairs to the statue. Okay, so... Oops. I'm just amazed at how well made this game is, and they they recently released um, the uh, the season two thing, as well as season two interlude and preview or premiere and stuff. And um, so yeah, and their their newest season is going to be in Unity, so that's going to be pretty cool. I can't I can't wait to start playing that after I finish this season. Okay, so. Click on that. Okay, so she's looking. Oh, the, our mother is crying? Oh my lord. What does it mean? What have I done? What have we done? Oh. Shoe, shoe sister. <laughs> You must help me. Cough. What can I do? What's wrong with you? There's little time. I tell them about my pain. I describe the unbearable and endless pain. Yet they do not listen. They pass me by without even looking at me. They say that they're praying for me, but it does not cure my ailments, sir. Sir, 
I cannot stand it anymore. Please be merciful and end this miserable existence. This is the greatest of the tortures. Of the tortures. Please help me. Oh lord. But sir, I... I know. But I beseech you. You will be saving me from horrible torture. I'll be eternally indebted to you. Sorry, sir. I do not wish to extend your suffering, but I cannot pay for what for your relief at the at the cost of your life. You asked me to shoulder a terrible burden. I will speak to Mother Elizabeth to see if there is anything more she can do for you. I understand the magnitude of what I'm asking. Thanks anyway, sir. Okay. I'll be right back, sir. I I don't think I could have. I mean, I thought about clicking on the second one and doing it, but I, mm, I don't know. I didn't feel right about that at all. Mother Elizabeth, one of the patients has begged me to end his life. Is there anything we can do to, to alleviate his suffering? No more than has already been being done by mortal hands, Mr. Devitt. It is for God alone to decide the mother of his release. This is all I can do for him. Take this to him. Thank you, Mother. I'll leave you with your duties. Right. No, it's supposed to say you're, but it's a you. Yeah. Okay. Can we go this way? Oh yeah, this is the classroom, never mind. Okay, so apparently it's someone named Baldwin Bites. Oh, what's that? Oh, a magazine entitled Weird Tales. Okay, that's interesting, I guess. I wonder where that guy went though.
Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure out some way to tear that. And I'm gonna have to figure out some way to get that short. I have a feeling that I'm gonna need this Bible and the uh, rosary beads. Well, actually, I don't know what to do with this Bible. Oh, well, I'm supposed to find that, that guy and give it to him. And, uh, Mr. David, these rooms are private. Oh, right, whoops. Okay. Let's try to find this guy real quick. Probably went out of here. Oh my goodness. They locked bad things in this. We're in confidence in that heaven may be able to get us to finish it. Okay. Okay, so now I have to figure out how to get the coffee method. Okay, so I've got to figure out how to get this coffee right there. Um, well... Oh. say, after all these years I've never seen the man. Who knows, maybe he doesn't exist. But Mother Elizabeth told me that Monsignor specifically requested her to hire you by, by letter. I'm flattered. My reputation precedes me, but I still can't tell you anything more about the man. Alright. So that's Mr. Baldwin. Cool, so I wonder if there's something useful in it. I'll be able to take a look if I keep on this track. Tell me about Mother Elizabeth. Oh, tell me about ah, tell me about this place. Okay, well the construction of this building was ordered by an Episcopal Bishop of Aberdeen in 1805. Uh, it was the place where I was born and raised. One of the biggest cities in Scotland. Ooh. Okay. Hi. So we're distracting, Mr. Brother. Oh, don't worry about it. Let's go get that guy out of the... <laughs> I have no idea why this guy is in here. We are going to get him out. What? Ew! The darkness of his eye. His body is petrified. He has a look of sheer terror in his eye. Oh my god, what has happened? Huh. Talk to me. Or the Bible? <laughs> Mother Elizabeth is trying to make him come to his senses. Okay, guys. This has been another episode of um, The Last Door, uh, Chapter 2. I'm going to be uh, doing some more of this. Um, can't wait to finish chapter two. Actually, I can't wait to finish the first season. So I hope that y'all have enjoyed this as much as I have. I'm the Punch of 611. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.